Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I am good. I'm just exhausted, <laughs> but I'm good. Um, my son and daughter-in-law wanted to go to the next big city and see what Costco is all about and have a weekend getaway. So the kids stayed the entire weekend with me. Uh, I have them a lot, but usually they go home at night or else if they're spending the night, I don't have them, you know, 48 hours in a row. Uh, they're good kids, but grandma's old. But anyway, we had a good time. We played a lot of games. I love to play games. And uh, we did a little bit of crafts and I don't know. Uh, Taylor, I taught her how to make homemade pudding to make banana pudding for her daddy. Um, she was just so, just so pleased with herself that he just praised her pumpkin roll. And her mama did too. Um, so today she made banana, a huge bowl of banana pudding to take home when they got here. So we did that, and I did a lot of dishes. <laughs> she um, wanted to have salmon patties one night that I had something else planned, but she really wanted salmon patties. And we hardly ever have those because it makes my apartment smell <laughs> for days. I don't have very much ventilation you know, I can open my patio door, patio door and get some fresh air in here. But still, that fried salmon smell sticks around to everything. <laughs> so we don't do that very often. So Taylor and I went in. The, there's one grocery store here in town that sells Honey Boy salmon. And that's the kind I like to make him salmon patties out of. So we went in there. Uh, the price of groceries is terrible. I bought three cans because if I was going to fry up salmon patties, I wanted to have some to freeze so I didn't have to have that smell in my apartment again. <laughs> uh, so I bought three cans of salmon. That was $12. And then they had spaghetti on sale for a dollar package, five for five, so I got five. And then that grated cheese, two for four dollars, so I got that. And um, their daddy had given me quite a bit of money to compensate me for all the meals I had fixed for them. And so um, Bluebell had pint size ice creams for $3. That was a sale price. I think they're usually $4.99. So they each, all four of us got our own flavor of ice cream. So that was $12. And I got a 10 pound bag of potatoes. And I got some sour cream and some cream cheese. Anyway, it added up. I didn't have very many items, and it added up to $83. I've just, uh, luckily, he'd given me a bunch of money. So, um, I'll just have to be, start being real careful about groceries. It's just crazy how much everything costs and how much it adds up to. Um, he gave me enough that uh, Sue, with what you sent me and, and what I had left from what my son gave me, it's going to be enough to buy me a pair of glasses. And so I'm excited to, that I'm going to order glasses. Uh, these are just fine, and I really like the frames, but my prescription expires in November, and my eyes haven't changed. I, I can see very well considering I have cataracts and they're not ready to have surgery on. Um, so I want to order another pair of glasses while my prescription is still good. I wanted this same frame, but it only comes in black, brown, or red. And I don't want black or brown. I need color. I, I, I need color in my life. <laughs> the last glasses I got were purple, and I liked them. And before that, I had blue. Uh... So I'll probably have blue or purple again. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? I may come up with brown. But anyway, I'm thrilled to death that I've got extra cash and unexpected money that I can pay for a pair of glasses with. I ordered them from Zenny, and they won't be a whole lot. Um, my geraniums are starting to bloom out. 
I'll stick in a picture here. Oh, when we this the store where we went to get the salmon is a is a big Texas chain. And as you walked in the front door, they, they had this huge display of roses, $7 for a bouquet. Mine has seven roses in it. And I love fresh flowers in the house. It makes me happy to see flowers. Feeds my soul. <laughs> I wish I could find the quote. I saw a quote one time that it said, if you have $3, spend one on bread to feed your body, one on flowers to feed your soul. and. I think the other dollar you're supposed to spend on wine or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, flowers to feed your soul. Um, anyway, I, I bought me a bouquet of red roses, and I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, <laughs> I went through them all and found the ones with the tightest buds that hadn't started to open yet. And then we got them home, and then Taylor said, look, Grandma, look how beautiful this one is. And it was really open. And I said, I didn't know I had any that were open like that. She said, I took my fingers and opened it up for you. <laughs> and I told her, well, it was just gorgeous. <laughs> um, anyway, nothing else going on here. I... I did go through my email. My email is such a mess. I get so much junk email, and then I can't find things that I should find. I found a bunch of emails from people where I told you I'd make you a bookmark. Well, you know, after they changed my medicine in May, I just had such an awful summer. I didn't want to paint. I didn't want to craft. I didn't want to do anything like that at all. But I found your emails where you ask for me to make you a bookmark, and I will. This week, I will get bookmarks mailed out. Um, I don't mind making bookmarks. <coughs> I know what I'll tell you. One of you, in fact, two or three of you have asked me or have how to make a YouTube channel or that you would like to do a YouTube channel but you don't know how to do it. I'm gonna research it out because I honestly don't remember how I made this channel. <laughs> you know, I slept since then. I am gonna research how to make a YouTube channel and put it in the simplest terms I can come up with because I'm playing Vanilla Grandma. And I'm gonna tell you how to create your own YouTube channel. I promise by next weekend, I will have that up. I'm going to work real hard to get that done. Um, other than that, there is just not anything going on. I am so exhausted from having the kids. I am going to go in and read my book in bed. Uh, the second they left this afternoon, it was about 5 o'clock or so, I guess, um, I got my book in my hand. <laughs> In fact, I was I was texting with another sub, and I fell asleep in between. I sent her, answered her, and she sent me another text back, and I fell asleep before I read it. <laughs> um, and I had a good nap. It's now, uh, it's either, it's almost 8 o'clock, I think, 78 degrees. Oh, it's so wonderful out here on my patio. But anyway, I'm just going to go in and have a glass of tea and read my book <laughs> and collapse. So I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend too. All right, see you in the morning. I just love these red roses. Aren't they gorgeous? And I so enjoy my geraniums and my moss rose. Flowers are just great. Oh, look at this. This is a yucca in bloom. This is what a yucca looks like when it's in bloom. Isn't that really pretty? We saw this by a Brahms dairy store. <laughs> but anyway, I thought those yuccas were just gorgeous. That's the state flower of New Mexico. Okay, guys, let me know what's going on in your world, please. Leave me a comment. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.